Good morning folks, Ron Ray here, Returning 65 Solutions. And for this morning's video, I thought I'd cover something that um, a lot of people know, but we also get a lot of questions about it here in our office when we're helping people with Medicare. And that's a question, does Medicare cover intensive care units? So uh, ICU, you, you hear that term quite often, ICU means intensive care. So intensive care unit, that's, a, that's an area in the hospital where you're you're admitted to the hospital and you've got something very serious wrong uh, with you and they're working very hard to get you well. So after a heart attack or, or a stroke or, or something really bad, COVID-19 maybe, uh, some complications from that. So uh, we, we've had a lot of people who have ended up in the ICU in the last uh, year and a half, you know, since COVID's been around. And and so we get this question, is, is Medicare going to cover my ICU stay? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, remember, there's two sides to Medicare, Original Medicare and Medicare Advantage. With Original Medicare, you keep Original Medicare A and B, and then you add in a Medicare supplement to help pay your out-of-pocket costs and a prescription drug plan to help with the prescriptions. Under the Original Medicare side of the, uh, the house, ICU intensive care unit is covered under Medicare Part A. Now under Medicare Part A, uh, you will have a deductible. That meant it's called a Medicare Part A deductible. It's currently in the year 2021, $1,484. Now I want you to be careful with that. That's not an annual deductible. That is per eligibility period. And it is possible that you could end up paying that several times per year. But that covers 60 days in the hospital. ICU stays can be more than 60 days. Now the hospitals don't like to keep you there because the space is limited and so they're gonna try to get you stable enough to move you out of the ICU, but you'll likely still be in the hospital and admitted as an inpatient. It's all the same. If you're an inpatient in the hospital, it doesn't matter whether you're, you're uh, on the, in the ICU or in a different ward of the hospital, if you're staying as an inpatient, it's covered under Medicare Part A. First of all, for the first 60 days, you owe out-of-pocket $1,484. Beyond 60 days, now there's a couple of more steps. So for days 61 to 90, you are going to owe $371 per day copay out of your pocket for every day that you're in the hospital for days 61 to 90. Now, at day 90, your Medicare benefits technically end, but now you've got what's called your 60 lifetime reserve days. Now, they're called lifetime reserve days because you only get them once in your lifetime, and once you use them, you don't get them back. Now, when you're in your life, 60 lifetime reserve days, now you're going to pay $742 per day copay out of your pocket for every day that you're in the hospital. $742 per day out of your pocket for days 91 to 150. Now, if you need to be in a hospital for more than 150 days in, in one eligibility period, which is 60 days, you now are on your own. Medicare is not going to pay anything okay, until you can reset that eligibility period, which means you have to leave the hospital and stay out for 60 consecutive days. Now, if you go back in, it starts all over again, except now you've used up your 60 lifetime reserve days. So if you get to day 91, you're going to be out of benefits again because you're out of reserve days. Now, it's very important to note, that's if you have original Medicare only. Now, if you have a good Medicare supplement like a Plan G or a Plan N, or maybe you still qualify for a Plan F, all of that Part A out-of-pocket responsibility is going to be covered by your Medicare supplement Plan G or Plan N or Plan F. So in reality, what you owe out-of-pocket is gonna be zero. Okay. And that includes, once you get past 151, 150 days in the hospital, that Medicare supplement, Plan G, Plan N, Plan F, those are going to cover you for an additional 365 days for the full hospital bill. Now, we're not talking about doctors. We're just talking about the hospital. And that's under Original Medicare. So with Original Medicare, Part A, and a good supplement, you will owe $0 out of pocket for a stay in the intensive care unit. Now, the other side of Medicare Advantage would Medicare would be Medicare Advantage. 
Now, Medicare Advantage plans are where you tell the government you don't want Medicare to be your primary insurer. You want them to contract you out to this private insurance company that you choose and they take care of you. These are the Medicare HMOs and PPOs and private fee for service type plans. Now, these plans are required to be at least as good as original Medicare. Okay, so you won't pay more than $1,484 for your first 60 days in the hospital, but here's, here's how they typically work. You will pay a per day copay for a fixed number of days if you're admitted to the hospital. And just for an example, this is not representing any one plan, so don't hold me to this. It's just an example. You might pay $300 a day for the first five days and then nothing after that for that hospital stay. Okay, so $300 for the first five days, about $1,500. And, and then you're done for the, for the year. Now, um, remember, I said you won't pay more than original Medicare, but that, so the first 60 days is $1,484, and then you can pay $371 per day, and then $742 a day, and then all the rest of the cost after that. So that bill can get you know upwards of $50,000 for 150-day hospital stay, but the most you're gonna pay is about $1,500 with Medicare Advantage plan. And that varies by plan. Remember, these plans are different. Every plan from every company can be completely different. Uh, so it's very important that you compare the plans and make a wise decision. That's what we help people do here at Turning 65 Solutions. We help you find a plan that fits your needs and your budget. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions about this, please give us a call. The number is 830-217-6711. Also, you can look us up on the web. We've got a great page here on our web, a great article that talks about ICU and ICU care and coverage. Uh, that address is t65s.com. I'll put a link to this article in the video description down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. That helps YouTube get this video out to other people who are looking for the same information that you were today. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when we upload a, another helpful video. So until the next one, we hope you have a great day, folks. Thanks. Bye.